for calling. Joel Sainz, this is my buddy Patrick McCray. We're here to continue our discussion of episode 276. I really, really enjoy the hell out of this episode for a lot of reasons. Yes, you get the the death of Jason McGuire, but 275 really sets this episode up really, really well because you get Jason McGuire going into the old house and really pushing Willie around. He he's he's what Jason is wanting to leave town, but not without money in hand, without a lot of money in hand. And what a great interaction in that episode with, you know, Dennis Patrick and John Carlin. And it continues in this episode that we've talked about. And I love how they, I think right here, 275, and especially 276, this is where the writers had to be looking at Barnabas like, do we really want to kill this guy? Because he is making us a lot of money right now. He's making us ratings at least. You know, I really think Dennis Patrick's character, and I get that he's being wrote, written off, and you've talked about there's no such thing as, there was. There really wasn't spinoffs by this point. And that, you're right, there not wasn't. Really, you know, I there mean, wasn't. A little bit, but not much. You know what I mean? There really wasn't. But I always got the sense that if Jason just left, I'd have loved to see Carolyn follow him. But I think the fact that, you know, Dennis Patrick's character, Jason McGuire is the first person we see Barnabas actually kill, is not, it's not done by accident by the writers. This to me is very much on purpose of, okay, we got to make this character. I mean, we've got some sympathy for him with when he first came out and he talked to Joseph's portrait, but we got to give him some sympathy back after that kidnapping from Matt with Maggie Evans. Yes. And I, and I think Dennis Patrick's Jason McGuire is sort of your sacrificial lamb here, and every right, and rightfully so. I mean, he's been your he's been your heel for the biggest part of you know this arc. He's been a big menace, you know, and really he's he's threatened Barnabas, and now he knows way too much. And anytime somebody knows too much in Dark Shadows, that's it. Yeah, they're most likely dying. That's uh, it. Yeah. Um, and he gets killed. In the in the basement of the old house, he gets buried though in the mausoleum in the secret room, which I like. And you you've talked about this too. The reflection of Barnabas in the mausoleum is just pure gold, uh, pure great, 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 great writing by Ron Sprout. Uh, yeah, uh, Ron Sprout deserves um, as much praise as I can possibly heap on a writer. I think um, he is a writer very much of the early days of television, which means that he's not afraid to have characters explain themselves in speeches that lay it all out. Uh, It's my understanding he really kind of invented a lot about Barnabas Collins and wrote a lot of the key episodes where the mythos was defined. Um, He is uh, he is smart. He is poetic. He sure as hell knows how to write for Robert Geringer um, and for Jonathan Frid. Um, I, uh, I I am really, really, really uh, fond of a Ron Sprout script. And um, it's, a, uh, it's a pleasure to be able to, to praise him. Because we, we talk a lot about Sam and Gordon because they did so much toward, you know, the middle and the end. But, man... These early writers are just aces, and Ron Sprout's one of them. Yeah, he really, the lines he's writing for these characters, we've talked about adult. This mm-hmm. is very adult. Um, yes. <clears throat> but he brought, you know, Geringer's character of Dr. Dave Woodard, he wants answers. And it's almost. <laughs> You'd swear this is a prisoner episode. We want information. He's and like the good side of number. Uh, he's like the good side of number 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 two. He really is. And this Garinger in this episode, he could have played the number two in in the prisoner, but does a really great job pressing the character of Maggie Evans. And I love how Kathleen Lee Scott slowly is like, I don't know, I don't know. Then she's silent silent and the timing is just perfect 
of when she does this, she goes, Sarah. And it's, he's like, what did you say? And she goes, it's Sarah. And the look on Grayson Hall's face and Garage's face is perfect. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just the actors and actresses on Dark Shadows underrated as hell, but the writing for the episodes for the actors is very, very underrated. I agree. And, yeah. You know, uh, something, something I'm going to start doing in the description box for fun for you guys is I'm going, I know we talked about who wrote and directed the episode and who narrated, but we're going to, I'm going to start listing who did that. So. Oh, God, I thought you were going to quiz us. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, but, no, I think we should list the writers and the and the directors. That be, It's something fun I've been thinking about doing, and I was talking to Julie. She goes, yeah, you should do that. <laughs> With this episode, what's your favorite scene? Oh God, uh, that's a that's a, a question I refuse to answer, Your Honor. And the reason is, uh, it is one of the most tightly integrated, well written Dark Shadows episodes there is. So um, I I think pulling one scene out is impossible. I think they all work really well together, and that's where I stand. I really do. What about you? You're right. I, I I do agree with you, but I will. I'll pick two. I'll, I'll cheat. <laughs> Go for it. No, you're playing um, by the rules. I'm the one who's cheating. <laughs> and both involve uh, really the the scene in the mausoleum with with Barnabas and Willie when Barnabas is reflecting on his family from 1795. Joshua and they all have their own individual who they were. Joshua made a promise he didn't keep. Uh, Naomi was a quiet and nice woman. And here's Sarah, who was the best friend Barnabas was talking about. Mm -hmm. And obviously, inside the sanitarium, Kathleen Lee Scott, Granger, Garinger, and Grayson Hall. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scenes. I would would say that's that's a good... Gold. I mean, it's hard. You're right. This episode, it's just hard to pick one, but I, I'll go with two. And I, I will say to sort of give a, a really uncontested sort of one you could pick two. It's mm-hmm. just even though his scenes are again, he's being written written off. Is that as Patrick's Jason McGuire in this episode does a great job being the heel he was always meant to be, but more so in this episode than any other. I, I mean, he, he's he's been a heel throughout this entire arc, but more toward the end of him leaving, he shows how much of a heel he really is. I agree. You know, I agree. You, just, hmm. Oh, you can keep going. There's and there's also a scene too, not in this episode, but it, episodes prior where he talks to Victoria Winters in the Blue Well, and he goes. Oh, don't I know who your parents are? Like, he teases it. And it's like, what a jerk. Yeah. I mean, he's, again, he's out, he's going out the door, and here's it. Heels, I love when heels, when you don't pull back on them. They're all in. Those are my favorite type of heels because they're not looking for sympathy. They're not looking for a way out. They're a menace to the end. They are. And I, I would have assumed your taste in heels would be more towards strapless. <laughs> only, only, only demolition. Um, <laughs> now, Joel, what, what are we talking about tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow, we're going to do episode 1010 or 1010. 1010. Yeah. All right. So, well, then so I will tell you now, if I may. To prepare for 1010, because I got to watch the other 1009 to, to refresh myself. <laughs> it's parallel time. <laughs> All right. Let's it's get 19, parallel. It's 1970 parallel time. A fun, fun episode it is, too, because hey, it, invo- it, it involves some Sour Slarmworth's favorite alter ego. Well, his only alter ego. John Yeager. Yeah, John Yeager. Yep. Thank goodness. All right. I'm there. So, so it's a lot. It's a lot of fun. Again, list. There's gonna obviously the link to the Dark Shadows Daybook of Mountain is gonna be in both description boxes. But in, also in both description boxes, please look for the writer, director, and and the person who narrated this episode, which was Kathleen Lee Scott. 
first of all, thank you, my friend, as always, for joining me. I will see you tomorrow night. You have a good night, Patrick. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.